Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on October 25th, 2020. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. It's been a while, I apologize, but I've been super busy and our planet is getting super cold. That's right, it's minus 20 degrees and snowing. The snow just finally stopped. It's been snowing for four days now here in Alberta. Temperatures are minus 20 degrees Celsius and still dropping moving eastward across Canada. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the last 48 hours on our sun as well. Looking here at a coronal hole building as well a newly developing sunspot here quickly developing. Other than that, still looking at that CME that spat away these are incoming images. And outgoing. That newly formed sunspot is uh, very quickly forming. It's quite concerning. We'll be definitely keeping an eye on that. Looking here, 511 angstroms. You can really see the helisphere affected by everything here and then that quickly forming sunspot looking here at a real-time solar wind as we did have quite a spike in the density and as well solar wind speed we're sitting at about 516 kilometers per second and it jumped to uh, let me see here 500 591 kilometers per second that was the incoming CME from a couple days ago. We're still expecting space weather from the new CME that erupted yesterday. Looking here, positive and negative polarities on the sun. It's the furthest I've seen them drift away from each other. You can see the phi angle flipped right away as well. and density bunches increased as well during this small space weather event. Looking here at our space weather, general uh, space weather prediction, and we are the little green dot on the right hand side of that spiral. All the space weather that is incoming right now, coronal hole wind speed, and then the plasma charges. And lots of activity on the back side of the sun coming around. So stay safe, stay aware, and prepared. Our sun is not done yet. Well, obviously it's not done. But looking here at the Schumann resonance for today, a low power of 13. And has been just a low humming for the last few days. Quality power of 9.4. Frequency of 8.06 hertz. Looking here at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Believe it or not, this is the last 24 hours. It's been very busy. Planetary alignments, which I've been talking about for the last year or so, we've been expecting this uptick and expecting the anomalies in the weather. So most recent here, 3.8, the Sandpoint, Alaska. So that is still aftershocks after the large 7.5 last week. And as well, Canada reporting Northwest Territories a 4.0 and a 4.7 yesterday. West Coast shaking today, 3.4 reported on the coast of Oregon. And as well, Stanley, Idaho with a 3.4 and a 2.5. And it's pretty quiet today across Los Angeles. Largest being a 2.6 reported. Rare here, 2.8 reported, Sparta, North Carolina. As well, 5.1 here, a Buenos Aires, Mexico, 4.6, or sorry, 4.4 reported as well. Puerto Rico, earthquake swarm kind of calming down. Looking through South America, 4.1 reported here in Erica, Chile at 137 kilometer depth. Quiet across the African plate, Northern Arabia plate here reporting a 
and as well, Italy. Mount Etna has been busy. 4.4 reported just southeast of Etna. Southeast Asia here, 4.7 in China. 5.4 here in Kualu, Kual, Kualu, Indonesia. And as well, Luwak, Indonesia. 5.2 reported here. Vanuatu. Tonga region with a 5.9. That is the largest in the last 24 hours. And here is the deepest the last 24 hours at 4.5. Japan region. So that is the last 24 hours. Very busy. And as well, all these rare earthquakes happening now in Hawaii. Pahala, Mauna Loa, getting ready to erupt. This is the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. A lot of deep earthquakes. Looking at that large 7.5 in Alaska with many, many aftershocks resonating across the planet. Definitely going through some great changes together as we had the alignment with Saturn. Jupiter and the Sun we are now leaving that but watch for things to rebound stay aware prepared and just have a plan everybody that's what this is all about keeping humanity safe aware and prepared and as well you got to stay young and have fun don't forget to smash that like button thanks everybody for your support almost 12,000 subscribers in 172 countries worldwide I appreciate you all prayers for humanity let's get to this disaster center here showing the most recent volcanoes being updated Karamiski in Russia Dukano in Indonesia some intense fires sparking up across Africa and as well Colorado Sabancaya in Peru Reventador in Ecuador Swiss in Ajima in Japan Lenguila in Papua New Guinea Semeru in Indonesia Popo in Mexico, Sangay in Ecuador, Bezimiani, Russia, and as well, it, Etna in Italy, Nevada de Rules in Colombia. So that's about 12 volcanoes being updated in the last 48 hours around the world. We're going to be going into the volcanic activity report coming in the next couple of days, having a look at Tropical Storm Zeta who's heading through Mexico right now and into the Gulf of Mexico as a Category 1. And then we've got Hurricane Epsilon, who is still spinning in the Atlantic as of seven days ago and is on its way to Iceland. Yeah, that's right. It's on its way to Iceland, a hurricane. As well, we're looking at Typhoon Molav, who's affecting the Philippines and going to be heading into Thailand. And they already have Tropical Storm Sodal who is heading across right now. So that's a double punch of typhoons for Thailand. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody there. Where I know my friend Steve Cassidy is in Thailand, so hopefully he's not affected by these flooded areas. Now across the Northern Hemisphere, we did see quite a deep freeze. Two large low pressure systems in both the Atlantic and Pacific. Very strong, vigorous, and large lows. Really starting to change things drastically. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Worth, Media Mike, starting out here overlooking Calgary, Alberta. As yeah, when I woke up this morning, it was minus 20 degrees without the wind chill. So minus 22 with the wind chill. And those temperatures hang around here for the next day or so. But then ahead of the atmospheric river that will be penetrating the BC coastline, there will be some warm temperatures. Those cold temperatures dipping down as far as Albuquerque, New Mexico, with that winter storm affecting Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, straight down the upper Midwest. It was quite an intense system and still is. But watch as the next system comes through, warmer temperatures ahead of it through Alberta. Most of the weather this week, though, will be along the eastern seaboard, heading up to the Atlantic provinces in Quebec, and then Tropical Storm Zeta, heading into the Louisiana-Galveston area 
of the Gulf and then heading straight northeastward towards the Great Lakes. And then to look at the track of these low pressure systems heading towards the North Pole all the way to Greenland, Iceland, these systems are just powering and towering northward and gaining strength and size like it's just crazy. United Kingdom has been affected by these strong winds and rains for the past five days and it's not going to stop. There's another low pressure system coming in and most likely this one will bring in some cooler temperatures behind it as it is coming straight from Greenland. Cooler temperatures already start to drop northern Finland, western Russia. You look at Russia right now, they're already sitting at minus 26. This is quite early for all of these snow and cold events. I don't care what anybody says. This is not normal. Stay safe, stay aware and prepared. We are on the verge of a great change together. Quite possibly one of the longest solar minimums in history. Bringing on, ushering in a new mini ice age across the planet. Hot and dry across the West Indies. Low pressure system in the Mediterranean will be affecting not too much actually, not too much rain associated with it. Heavy daily evaporation rains through northwestern Kenya as flooding conditions worsen around Lake Victoria. Cooler temperatures hanging around Cape Town. And then watch for intense storms straight across South America, Paraguay, Uruguay, Bolivia, Buenos Aires, Sao Paulo. Daily evaporation rains mixed with some very intense winds. Leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern as things are dramatically changing. Overlooking Australia, colder temperatures looming, kind of an extended winter for you guys. Not too much to talk about though for Australia. Coastal rains and northern thunderstorms. We'll leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern. Look at the size of these low pressure systems and watch for the large atmospheric river penetrating the coastline of British Columbia, Oregon. Stay safe, stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye. Don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.